Hey guys, welcome back to our phase 365 concepts. In today's video, we will dive into the world of troubleshooting incoming and outgoing email flow in Exchange Online. We will discuss few use case scenarios and we will explore how to troubleshoot Exchange Online email flow. The first scenario that we are going to discuss is all the users of Microsoft 365 tenant are not able to receive emails from internet or from external domains. Before we start troubleshoot any issue, we should always isolate the issue first. We need to isolate if users of our tenant are not able to receive emails from a particular external domain or from all external domains. Because after this isolation, the troubleshooting approach will change. There are millions and billions of domains on internet, but for this deck, I have taken five domains. For example, let's say users are able to receive emails from all external domains except one. So if users are not able to receive emails from a particular domain, then ask sender whether they are receiving an NDR while sending emails to you. NDR is basically a non delivery report. This is like an email that is sent to the sender but this includes a detailed report of the error when an email is not delivered to the recipient because of some reasons. NDR or non-delivery report is also called bounce back message. If you want me to create a detailed video how to analyze an NDR, let me know in comments. Coming back to this deck, if senders are receiving NDR while sending emails to you, then sender will have to check the error within NDR and they need to fix it accordingly. But let's assume senders are not receiving any NDR while sending emails to you. And when you run message trace at the sender side, the emails are showing delivered, but the emails sent from them are not getting delivered to you. In this scenario, you will run message trace at the recipient side. Message trace shows all the emails those are sent from your tenant and those are received within your tenant. Let's say an external user sent an email to you, but he got an NDR. That means the email never reached your tenant. So that particular email will not reflect in message trace. Message trace will show only those emails that hit your Microsoft 365 tenant. If you do not see a particular email in message trace, that means that email didn't reach your tenant. If you see the email in message trace, then check what is the status of that email. If status says delivered, but the end user hasn't received the email, then check if user has mailbox forwarding or inbox rule that is forwarding the emails to other recipients or ask recipient to check his junk folder. If email status says filtered as spam, then the email must be either in quarantine portal or within the junk folder of the mailbox based on the configuration done within spam filter policies at the recipient tenant. There can be multiple reasons why an email is filtered as spam. For example, SPF is failed, connecting IP is listed and so on. So based on the status, you need to troubleshoot the issue. Apart from the above checks, you can also verify if the sender's email server IP address is blocked within your tenant. You will go to Microsoft 365 Defender, go to policies and rules, threat policies, go to anti-spam, go to connection filter policy, click edit connection filter policy and check if you have blocked the IP address here because if sender's email server IP address is blocked within your tenant, you will not receive the email from that particular email server. You can also verify if the sender's domain is not blocked within anti-spam policies within your tenant. Go to anti-spam inbound policy, scroll it down, click edit allowed and block sender and domain and under blocked, check if you have blocked any domain here. Now let's assume after isolation, we found that all the users of my tenant are not able to receive emails from all external domains. That means we are not able to receive emails at all. So in this scenario, the first thing that we need to verify is what is our mail flow? That means how email travels from internet to our tenant. There can be two scenarios. First, email is directly getting delivered from internet to our tenant or we have a third party email filtering solution where the email will first deliver and then it will be delivered to our tenant. So if you are using a third party email filtering solution, then verify if MX record is correctly pointing to the third party email filtering server because MX record is used to receive emails from Internet. You can verify MX value for your domain using MX toolbox in MX toolbox. Type your domain and check if MX value is correct for your email filtering server. 
For my case, it is pointing to Sophos. That is a third party email filtering server. And if we do not have a third party email filtering solution, then we need to verify if MX record for our domain is correctly pointing to exchange online protection. For exchange online protection, the MX value will be domain hyphen com dot mail dot protection dot outlook dot com. Now let's assume you are using a third party email filtering server. MX record is also correctly pointing to third party email filtering, but email is not getting delivered to exchange online. So in this case, you need to check the message logs on the third party email filtering server. In message logs, you will see whether the email was delivered to this server or not. And if the email was delivered, then why it is not redirected to Office 365 tenant. The next scenario that we are going to discuss is all the users of Microsoft 365 tenant are not able to send emails to external users. Now again, we need to isolate if all the users of our tenant are not able to send emails to all external domains or to a particular external domain. If users are not able to send emails to all external domains, then check if they are getting any NDR. Most of the time when all the users are not able to send emails to internet, the reason can be your tenant is blocked. So in this scenario, when users will send an email from your tenant, they will receive an NDR that says access denied tenant has exceeded threshold. Or if you have a trial tenant, users can receive NDR that says access denied traffic not accepted from this IP. In these scenarios, please open a support ticket with Microsoft to get this resolved. But if users are not receiving any NDR while sending emails, then run message trace and check what is the status of the emails those are sent from your tenant. If the status says delivered, that means the emails are sent from your tenant, but for some reasons, the recipients are not receiving your emails. And if status says failed, in that case, you will click the email, you will go to message events, expand it, and check what is happening to this email and why it is getting failed. Let's assume we are using a third party email filtering server. The users from our tenant are trying to send emails to internet, but the recipients are not receiving those emails. So first you will run message trace at the sender side. If the status says delivered, that means the email is sent from your tenant. So you will check the SMTP logs or the message logs on the third party email filtering server. In message logs, you can find whether the email was accepted from exchange online protection or not, or whether the email was sent from third party email filtering server to internet. So based on the message logs on the email filtering server, you can troubleshoot the issue. And if message trace at the sender side shows failed, then you will click the email, you will go to the events, and check why this email was failed. And during isolation, if we found that users from our tenant are not able to send emails only to a particular domain, then again, we will check for NDR. If there is no NDR, then we will troubleshoot according to the status within the message trace. Also, there can be a possibility that the recipient has blocked your domain or the emails are getting delivered to their quarantine or the junk folder. So if you learned something new from this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please write in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.